You may be wondering, what is blue-green algae and how do you spot it? If there's a lot of it, you'll likely smell it and you may even spot some blooms floating on the water. Luckily here at Blue Cypress Lake, that's not yet the case, but that doesn't mean the concern isn't still here. Underneath the waters of Blue Cypress Lake lurks a small but powerful enemy. So maybe a little concerning. We're talking about blue-green algae and something neither Spencer Joyner. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Elizabeth. Nor Elaine Phelps and her granddaughter, Lexi. Well, I love playing in the water. Have ever heard of? No, we've heard of red. I've not. No, no, but we did see some, I don't know if it was algae, but the boat operator was describing some green carpets. Blue-green algae is a type of bacteria commonly found in fresh water across the state. According to Dr. Valerie Paul with the Smithsonian Marine Base in Fort Pierce. They can produce all sorts of toxins. Um, and uh, one of the more common ones in the in microcystis is a whole group of toxins called microcystins. Dr. Paul says that's the type of algae commonly found in lakes like blue cypress. What's strange though is the time of year it's blooming. I would say this time of year is normally a little early for them, but look at how warm it's been, right? And so blue green algae like uh, nice warm temperatures. We've had a kind of an unusually warm uh, February. DEP sample collected Monday shows a microcystin level of 0.25. Now that may seem small, but Dr. Paul says it's still dangerous. You no, know, I would say if there's a level there, there's a concern. It's a concern for boaters and for Dr. Paul, who says with blooms already starting, the outlook for summer activities could be grim. I would expect if they're starting to bloom now, they might continue to bloom for a while. But will it ruin the Joyner family's vacation? No, no, definitely not. Uh, this is a great area and, you know, so many different things to do. And, you know, if there's just one or two bodies of water to stay out of, there's certainly other ones to go play in and enjoy the Florida sun. Florida health officials are warning residents here in the area not to drink, swim, wade in these waters or boat in any waters with a visible bloom. And watch out for your pets too. Reporting in Indian River County, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.